Hello, this is Reindeer Speeds, and today I'm going to talk about why drawn comb is absolute gold. So when you're a new beekeeper, you don't really understand it because you don't have any drawn comb, but drawn co being having extra drawn comb that's not in the hives is so important and so useful as a beekeeper. So drawn comb is really just stored bee energy. It takes one, uh, six to eight pounds of honey for every one pound of beeswax. So that's a lot of sugar. So it just takes a lot of energy for the bees to turn that nectar or sugar water into um, comb. It's, it's a lot of sugar basically. And that's why bees only draw out uh, frames during a honey flow or if you're feeding them. So they, they can't spend the energy that it takes to make comb when there's not a lot of energy coming into the hive in the form of sugar. So that's why bees only do it during the flow. But still, why is comb really important? Because the, the two main tasks that come to my mind that comb's, drawn comb is really important in are stopping swarms and making a lot more honey. So when you're, you know, drawn combs can stop most swarms um, from leaving, assuming you catch them early enough. If the queen cells are already capped, then it's probably not going to work. But if the cells aren't capped already and you destroy their cells and you give them more drawn comb, then there's a good chance you're going to be able to keep them from swarming. I made a video all about that. I'll link it up here. And then the other thing, which is, you know, making honey. It's pretty simple when it comes to honey production. I mean, the more drawn comb you have to put on your hives, the more honey they're going to be able to make. Because instead of using that incoming nectar to draw and make comb, they're just going to be storing it and capping the honey. So it's, you just make a lot more honey. I don't know the exact amount, but I heard from a beekeeper in my area that when we're on our main honey flow, if you give them a drawn super, they can fill it up and cap it in only a week, which is crazy. I mean, that's so much honey. That's 30 pounds of honey in one week. So I thought that was really interesting. And going back to swarming, it also makes it dramatically easier to keep them in the box if you have a honey super at the beginning of the honey flow. Let's say you're trying to get them out of the mindset of swarming. If you put a frame, a box of foundation on top of your hive when the honey flow starts, then they might start back the brood nest and want to swarm again, even though you've stopped their congestion swarming before. So when you have that first super drawn, then the bees can just instantly start filling it up and that gets them into the honey flow and to the point where they just want to make honey at that point. And they're way less likely to swarm. It doesn't mean some hives don't because some still do swarm during the honey flow. But if you have that drawn super or drawn supers to put on top of your hive, they're much more likely to stay and make honey for you, which I know I enjoy some honey. I, I bet many beekeepers do as well. And the third thing that drawn comb is absolutely great for is making splits because having drawn comb just makes your splits grow so much faster than if you give them foundation. Not to say that I don't make splits with foundation, but if you have the drawn comb, they're gonna draw, they're, they're gonna grow infinitely faster. So when, like most people make nukes with two frames of brood, one frame of food, and then, you know, either two foundations or two drawn combs or a mix of the two. And the hives, you, you can see it, you can do this yourself. If you make that nuke and you put two foundations in there and you and then you make another nuke and put two drawn combs as your fourth and fifth frame, you will see a dramatic difference in how fast they fill out that box because the bees don't have to draw any more comb. They're just filling the box up. So having comb for your splits is awesome and it makes them grow a lot faster. So that's another reason that having extra comb is super important. That's part of my split plan this year because I have 30 to 40 fully drawn frames of comb as well as about another 30 or 40 partially drawn frames of comb. So what this will allow me to do is once I've, I'm going to have about eight hives that I'm just going to keep splitting and seven hives that I'm just going to make honey from. And the eight ones that I'm splitting, I'm going to be able to give them drawn comb right back. And so they'll be able to fill that back up. So then when I want to come back and split them again three weeks later, they're going to have plenty of brood for me to split out again because they didn't have to spend all that energy making new comb. Not to say that I won't make them draw any comb at all, but still that advantage that I'm going to be able to give them will allow me to make a lot more splits, which I want more bees, so more splits is good for me. I got this phrase from Cayman Reynolds, the you know title of the video, Drawn Comb is Gold, because it absolutely is, and he couldn't be more right. It just saves the bees a lot of energy when you already have it. And you know, it's basically, like I said, it's stored energy for the bees in the comb.
even though the beeswax isn't actually sugar, it took so much sugar to make it. Uh, that's why I think of it as like stored sugar or stored energy. Having more comb than you need is always advantageous. So like Cayman has a video about drying comb in the dearth. I'll link it up here. He would have his production colonies go, go, go till the flow ended pull all of his supers off and instantly start feeding them and put another box of foundation on. And since the bees were already in comb drawing mode from the honey flow, then what do you know? They just kept drawing comb. And you know, maybe he didn't get a whole deep of comb off of each one, but even if you get three, four or five frames, that's so much better than nothing. I mean, you're gonna have that for next spring to make your hives, uh, you know, make your hives, help them not swarm in the spring and potentially help you replace their splits or replace the frames once you make splits. So more comb is always better. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. More comb is always better. Um, and then the last really important factor when it comes to comb is up here in the north, I run mostly single deeps. And so you need to have seven frames of continuous comb that are fully drawn. So the bees can fill those up 100% with sugar syrup or honey. For the winter because if you if you don't have that many combs i feel like you're kind of risking them not being able to store enough food for winter and then also the other important thing is that they're all 100 percent drawn or like both sides are you know 80 plus percent drawn because if they're not the bees like let's say you have honey frames and then uh all across this box but then you have one honey frame that has honey on one side but it's empty on the other and if that happens, then the bees won't be able, like if it's a really cold day, they can't move across the section that doesn't have honey to get to the honey on the other side. So you wanna have continuous frames of drawn comb with honey in them. So it's really important for winter that you have that. And if you're doing double deeps, then I'd say you need at least 14 frames of continuous comb over each other. It's not as important to have as many frames drawn when you have two deeps, because they can go up and down more, but still it's pretty important to have all that comb drawn. So that's why you need to get comb drawn for your bees. For me, why I have so many frames of comb is I lost three hives, so that's part of it. And then also I did, I wanted 20 hives for winter and I only ended up getting 18. So I did a lot of combining before winter to make sure they were all strong enough. Apparently it wasn't enough, but you know, sometimes it doesn't work out, I suppose. Anyway, so I have a lot of comb from that combining and I'm very happy to have it because it's gonna make my life a hell of a lot easier, so. I hope you enjoyed this educational video. If you're interested in more content just like this, go down below, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when I upload. Comment down below, follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Reindeer's Bees, and I will see you in the next one.